Yo, what's up, YouTube? GCJ here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to find the best decks for the global tournament and grand challenges. So, in order to find the best decks, what you're going to be wanting to do is you're going to go to royaleapi.com. The link is going to be in the description. You can click filter sort. For me, I like to do rating. And like today, for the filters, I like to see 30 results just so you can like have a wide variety of decks to pick from. 12 wins. So, like the decks that you're choosing from have definitely got 12 wins before. And what this is going to be doing is going to be showing you the best 12 win decks like the highest rating so like win percentage and usage rate and po like slash popularity um the decks i'm going to be showing you guys today is this royal hogs deck this mk lightning deck um i'm not going to be doing giant graver because i'm also going to be doing splash shard because splash shard is like my main deck and i'm sure you guys want to see a little bit of that i'm also going to be doing this lava hound deck and i'm going to be doing this golem beat down deck so we're going to be doing those five decks and I'm going to be finishing this grand challenge with it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys when I hop in the first game. All right, I hop in the first game going against Esteban. Um, skeletons. Okay, I'll just tombstone. And I'll have my Skelly King ready if he goes with like a lot. Okay, he's going to Earthquake. Should be able to fill up my Skelly King bar a decent amount. I... I think I'll use the ability here. Because at least it'll force him to use his ability. Okay, looks like he's going to save his ability. He's going to go with the Valkyrie, which kind of sucks, honestly, for me. I have to go, like, Flying Machine here. Miner. Pop that ability already, boy. I have to Mega Minion as well here, which is just really unfortunate. They have to spend that much Elixir on a Queen. But overall, I think I have a good matchup here. Because the only, like... The only uh, air counters he has in his deck is the queen. So I'll just skelly king this, I think. And that's going to be okay. And now I can lob him back. With well, that as a wing conditioning out of cycle and also him spending a lot of licks on defense, I definitely think it's a good move. I'm going to use the skelly king ability here just to see if I can take out that Tesla. It looks like it's going to work out how I wanted it to, which is really good. So it looks like it lied. He has Tesla and Arch Queen, which is unfortunate. But we're chilling, honestly. I'm just going to stack a bunch of air troops here, and he shouldn't be able to deal with all of it. Arch Queen is pretty busted, so maybe he can uh, pop off with that. And the Fire Spirit was well played by him. Looks like that's going to survive, unfortunately. I'm going to go Tombstone high. Skelly King low. Arrows. Okay, zero hits. This is scary. Bro, why does he have... Arch Queen and Tesla, bro. It never runs that. Oh, no. Yo, how's Arch Queen alive right now? Get that out of my face. Okay, just keep stacking random stuff, though. Flying Machine again. I need an ability now, 100%. Nice. Okay, Flying Machine and Skelly Drag's all gone. That's going to be a game. So even though he has Tesla and Arch Queen, we're still able to break through just from one bad Fire Spirit by him. And also, just he can't really deal with all of my spam. That's how this deck is. You kind of just spam everything. Speaking of spam everything, we're going to be doing goal next. So <laughs> another beatdown deck coming in hot. I'll see you guys once I find a game. All right, hop in the next game going against Asian Domination. I like the name. Um, let's just get a Tombstone down here. I think generally just like stacking lots of Tombstones is good. Tombstone's like one of the best cards. Now we can go with um, this. Oh, what? Huh, that was kind of unlucky that the uh, Bandit hit the Tombstone there. I really would have liked to keep it alive. Okay, definitely just going to Lightning the Archer Queen here. Let's see how he responds to this. I 
I'm gonna use this ability because it is a full Skelly King ability. See no reason not to. Looks like he's using the E-Wiz. It's not gonna be able to hit everything though. That e is gonna get shredded. And this ghost is looking pretty low on health as well. I think I can go on back here. I don't think I can activate. Let's go Tombstone High before I go on. To just like stack some elixir. Okay, he's gonna fireball. It's another positive trade for me. I think I'll go on now. I'm gonna get my Barbarian Barrel ready in case he bandits off Selene. If he bandits off Selene though, I can almost always like tornado as well. So it looks like he's got a P.E.K.K.A. You can go with it. That's well played. Hmm. For some reason I thought he had Mega Knight, but since he's Fireball, it definitely makes more sense that he has P.E.K.K.A. I guess let's just like try and stack some units here, try and take out this P.E.K.K.A. the best I can. And then next play I'm going to do is just like try and make that Queen and P.E.K.K.A. get splashed out. And that's going to be like pretty successful offensive sequence. We don't really get that much damage, but we also prevent him from having the counter push, which um, which in these situations does matter a lot. So we have a kind of awkward cycle right now. Usually you want to go with a golem night witch combination. But let's get a tombstone down. Let's go skelly king in the back here, expecting a fireball. And then if we barbaro here, we're chilling. So now my Skelly King ability is going to be really filled up, which is good for us. I have my Lightning ready for an Archer Queen. So I'm going to make like a weird push here. But without Fireball and Cycle, I'm not sure how he defends this. Oh, he is, he's struggling. So he's using a lot of Elixir there. I should be able to just go on and back right now. Okay, he did a really good uh, offensive like push there. Let's see if I can break through with this. Did he use fireball? I'm not sure. So we're going to tornado this top lane. There's the fireball now. Let's use this ability. I think Barbaro can help clean up that. Mm, that's a lot of damage though. Wow, wait, how do you get so much damage there? That was really unlucky. Oh, this is scary. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to go Tombstone and Bar Barrel. Nice, that's a really good defense. Let's get Baby Dragon down. He's going to zap. Golem is connecting. I want a Lightning... Just for the damage and try and kill this P.E.K.K.A. really quickly. Nice. We kill the P.E.K.K.A. Can the Baby Dragon lock on? Not quite. But we just need one more Lightning now. Let's go Skelly. It's Night Witch. Very nice. Very nice. So, yeah. We've got to wait. See where his Battle Ram is. Then we go Lightning. Just to make sure he doesn't get that Lightning block off with the Battle Ram. And that's going to be a solid game overall versus Pekka Bridge fam. Um, next deck is going to be the MK Lightning deck. The, I mean, pretty similar to the deck we just played against. Yeah, obviously the Mega Knight version. So I'll see you guys when we're in there. Hopping into the next game. Oh, wow. Um, I guess I'll just do this. It's kind of an awkward situation. And I'll go like E-Spirit here. That's actually a really good counter. Oh, he's going to go with that in the back. I should be able to Arch Queen back safely here. I don't think he has Rocket since he has Skelly Barrel. Usually they don't. So he's got Skelly Barrel, Knight, and a Musketeer. I'm just going to band to the opposite lane. Use my Arch Queen ability, expecting that Fireball. We're not really expecting the Fireball, expecting him to do something. And I think we'll just Mega Knight back here. I don't see why not. Get my Ghost ready for the offense or for his offense. Okay, he's not going to do anything. He's just going to can card him back. Hmm. You just use Fireball. I feel like I have no reason not to just like bridge spam. I'll probably just send an E Spirit in here as well. Just to, like get any sort of like units that he might play. Okay, we do get a connection. And we do take out most of his counter push. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, 
I wonder, I don't really understand what Ducky's playing though. Definitely just gonna bandit on this musky. Take it out in one shot. He's not careful, it's gonna dash real quick. Okay, he is he's ready for it. Okay, we can clean on this to kill it before getting to the tower. So he's just playing like a mortar deck, it seems. Oh my gosh, using the queen ability, slowing her down at the perfect moment so his fireball doesn't connect. Wow, that was actually an interesting interaction. But without the fireball and cycle, I'm once again just gonna like make this huge like MK push. There's no reason not to. And then we can just lightning everything. He does cycle back to a fireball, but... He's gonna take a lot of damage right now. I think I'm just gonna do another ram. Why not? How does he actually stop this? He can't. Ram's gonna charge. And we're chilling. Honestly, like... This deck, like, it is a bridge turn deck, but it can be played like a beatdown deck as well. That's kind of how we did this game. It's like no fireball and cycle, big MK ram push. It's very, very hard to stop, especially with the queen, like always getting value on defense. All right, hopping into the second last game here. We're running pigs. Um, let's go fire spirit here. And now let's just arch queen back. So this might be a good matchup to go over. looks like he's gonna actually be running the, um, the MK deck. Unfortunately, I kind of missed this around there. Mmm, that's a lot of damage to take. It's unfortunate. I'm gonna wait, see how he deals with this first. He might just take the hits. Queen in the back. Wow, I don't really know how I'm supposed to respond to that. I don't really have a good answer for that. He might just magnite the bridge here and like kind of mess me up. So always pop your ability second. You can always win the queen versus queen interaction. Okay, he goes Mega Knight back. 100% need to pressure the opposite lane hard. But he has Ghost and Snowball. Well played to him. Okay, that Mega Knight needs to jump. Okay, we get a nice activation, but we just have to make sure we don't get three crowned here. Going with the delivery to help out versus the ghost as well. Overall, really solid defense. I am going to split hogs here. Um, see if we can get some extra damage. Versus Mega Knight in decks like Mega Knight and like Fireball and Valkyrie decks. Like with this deck, you always want to be splitting pigs usually. Um, let's go with the queen versus queen interaction here again. Okay, it looks like he played it a little bit later than mine, which means he's gonna win their action, but looks like we're fine. Go fire spear off lane just to pressure a little bit. Let's go with a log, a cannon, a roll of delivery. Try to focus up on the defense right now. Get another cannon down. Really, really good defense. Um, gonna go queen high. You might Mega Knight at the bridge here. That was a solid defense. Wait, are you telling me that Ram connected? Boy. That was unfortunate. Oh no! Oh no! I have to pressure like pigs right now or something. I meant to place queen on the right side. Oh wow, this is unlucky. Mm, maybe we're gonna be okay, I don't know. Okay, three card cycle. We can actually cycle back. I'm really worried about lightning right now. Please don't lightning. 
Okay. Hmm. Guard your queen right side. This time. If he MKs a bridge, I'm definitely going to spam him. Nice. We can distract that MK with the good pigs. Let's go world delivery. Let's go earthquake. Let's get a cannon. Oh, where's my cannon at, dude? Stop. Stop it, bro. Focus mode, sorry chat. It's gotta cycle those earthquakes. <laughs> he says wow. Yup. GG's. You know, not the cleanest game of all time, but very, very bad matchup. And we're actually up a clutch up. Just showing how overpowered like earthquake cycle is how overpowered pigs are and how overpowered like delivery is on defense like roll delivery in that without like without the roll delivery in that matchup like you're you're a dead man <laughs> anyways let's hop into the last game using good old splash shard to finish out this 12 wins and um yeah see you guys once we're in all right hop into the last game of the video um i'm actually 11 and 2 now because I accidentally queued with royal hogs again um but I just gave up on purpose and now we're going to play Swasher for the final game. Let's see. Using some sort of bait deck. I have to bar bro this, unfortunately. I have my Valkyrie ready. Either my Valkyrie ready or the Tornado ready. Okay, yeah, so we just Valkyrie on this since he played anti tornado placement. And we're definitely going with the graveyard here without guards in cycle. He has Dark Goblin cycle, but I should be able to just poison it. The poison hitting the Valkyrie as well is also really important. It's gonna make it so his counter push is like, not as useful. He also used a lot of Elixir on that defense, so we're big chilling. Um, we can just tornado this and activate my King Tower. Really perfect tornado time. It makes this so I take zero hits from the Goblins as well. And... I don't know if he gave up. I don't think he truly gave up. He's probably gonna keep going. But um, yeah. Let's get Tombstone low here. I wanna go one tile lower usually because of his Dark Goblin I can snipe it. Let's go, Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon is really hard for him to deal with. Okay, he has Tesla version now. We're gonna go naked graveyard here. And poison. Seems like a weird play, but it's actually what you have to do a lot of time versus bait. So his Dark Goblin's gonna get a load of damage here. Hmm. That was well played. For some reason I thought his Dark Goblin would hit my tombstone. That was a misplay by me. And there's the rocket cycle, so we gotta go in pretty hard here. Gonna try and poison absolutely everything here. So we barely have the damage lead here, and we actually get a lot of skelly hits there towards the end, which is very solid. Oh, okay, didn't get any hits. Perfect. He just used Log again, so we're going in with another Graveyard. Another Poison as well. Ooh, that Poison value is nice. We're getting some pretty good RNG. Beidra actually gets a nice shot as well. And, uh... Good game, brother. Now I just have to defend one last time.
Tornado Poison. That's going to be a good game. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Just kind of a nice guide on how to find decks that are going to work well in the Global Tournament and in Grand Challenges. Also, just like a pretty good video on how to win your first Grand Challenge as well. Let's finish it off by opening the chest. And upgrading a card, hopefully. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough gold. Let's see, how much gold do we get? 57k, not enough. We're 18 cards away from fully maxing my account. Um, hopefully I can do that in the near future for you guys. I think that would be a cool video. But um, yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching the, all the video all the way through. If you guys did, I really appreciate y'all. It really helps with the algorithm. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay juicy. Peace.